Welcome, welcome everyone. I am Alf and I am here to play some Fallout New Vegas again. Tried to play this morning, had some audio issues, so I cut the stream short. So I decided to uh, try again this afternoon after resetting the router. Uh, if you are first time joining me, this is a uh, game that I played back in the day but never finished. So uh, I am going through it uh, stream by stream. This one as well as Subnautica alternating between the two, but uh, uh, but yeah, I had issues this morning, so I cut stream short. I think I figured it out. If anyone is in the chat and you're seeing any uh, audio skipping or audio issues or video, crappy video, let me know. So let's go ahead and get started. Just my volumes. There we go. Okay. I already talked to that guy. Hey, El Phil. I'm running it on 720p today. Just let me know if you see any kind of fuzzy or blurry when there's a lot of movement. And also listen for any audio skipping. I had that issue last time. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharp shooter at your service. Oh, yeah. F fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. <laughs> Alrighty. Damn right. Uh, where did you get the name? LT. Goral Betts gave it to me. See, I wanted to be Ace of Spades. But the LT says, sorry kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me Ten instead. It's okay though. Nice. If I get a few more k k kills under my belt, he'll move me up to Jack. Jack of Spades. Sounds better, right? I keep at it. Yeah, I've made it make all the way to McCarran. Think I'll skip There's a lot of uh, missions I couldn't wrap up just because I don't have high enough, um, like, speech and science. So I just decided to let them go and start moving on and finding new stuff to get experience. Shit. As long as I can remember, had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ramp, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid, too. Oh, they recruited me. What, I need uh, speech and science. Those Told are the two big wounds I need to get. Before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. All right. Kicking ass. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter <laughs> right now. Looking for those f f fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. All right. Yeah, I'll see you. Good talking to you. Around. Howdy. Name's Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Got a good memory for faces. Landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. I call her the Long Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So oh, Phil, I got the, uh, <laughs> I was listening to a stream where, where Jay was, drunk 3 p was talking about how he was the number one, uh, lawnmower simulator player on Twitch, so I ended up getting the game. I'm gonna probably stream that at some point. <laughs> Used to be a ranger, one of the first Why not? out east back before we took the dam, observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. 
A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. No, I, I, I never purchased ISOM 1. I need to go back and get it. Rangers are dead now. But uh, a lot of the money I used for uh, the trip to the uh, the meetup, I don't really have the money right now. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. I got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts either. Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. Yeah, I want to get it. And I know the, the he's already made, what, what almost half a million then I in the first the day. To the and uh, I, guess I had think the website crashed at one point again. <laughs> Even with the uh, extra the servers, they it crashed. But it just shows the people like want the want thing. his book. Going on six months now. But I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. That's Except still 400k in half direction. a day. That's decent. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Always a pleasure. All right. Keep yourself safe. Excellent. Ooh, magazines. Oh, I can take them. Can't take from lockers. I'm here to take all your magazines. <laughs> we won't talk go to you. quietly. I'm Lieutenant Gorovitz, no, I am. First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I'd appreciate it. As her CEO, hey, Phil, did you watch the uh, Starfield help, but I'd have uh, deep dive? There's things I still have concerns on, but uh, there's things, a lot of my questions that got answered and and I like what I saw for the most part. Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. Uh, Starfield is a new IP from, uh, um, Bethesda, um, a more idealized future than twenty or than Fallout, but it's a space travel go around. There's different factions, and uh, you can build. They improved base building from Fallout to this to Starfield, where you can do overhead view and everything, and you can build and then customize the how nice on the inside your your bases are. Then you can build and just ships in almost extreme detail. Just gotta go check it out. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. I'm I'm expecting like any Bethesda game when it first comes out, there's gonna be bugs. And it's probably gonna run a little sluggish at first until they patch it. But that's pretty standard for Bethesda games. If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Carry on. Goodbye. Hey. In 
anything I can take. Ooh, careful. More than that. Hmm. All right. I got all rid of them. Well, three out of four correct. So, nice. Got it. Transfer that redhead you liked over to admin. You'll be sitting next to her all day, so don't let him crying to me if you can't get her in your bunk. <laughs> oh, and you owe me big time for this favor. I'll let you know when I think of something. All personnel must secure their terminals before leaving their post. We don't need another situation like the one Private Crenshaw created last week. What's up, Jones? Crenshaw here. So you got your eye on that pretty redhead, huh? I'll make, I'll be sure to fill her in on your farting. <laughs> uh, seeing as we're buddies and all, you didn't secure your terminal very well. Okay. Oh, I can actually open that box. Ooh, battle caps. No. No. All right. Oh. Oh, I can't take any of this. We'll take the take those twelve gauge rounds. No. Nope. Empty. Can't take it. Oh. Alright. steal anything. Not yet. <laughs> Broken terminal.
Alright, so your arms are already in here. Duffel bag for a, a cup. Can I go in here? On you go. What are you typing on? A jar? Nice. Silence 22. Noise. You? Never seen you around before. Hello. Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobets keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Legion fights to win. And they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone cold well, bitch then. after all. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? Yup, a lot of people make that connection. Big gun, <laughs> sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. How about a date now? The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Ugh, I don't have any 
either. Yeah, try not to get killed. Okay. Speak with Corporal Sterling. Where is he? Hello. You remember me, right? T -t Ten of spades. First recon. Oh, but because of what that fuck Cook Cook did? Well, it's not, not the same thing, but the... Doc Kusanagi helped me with my stutter. The, the, the doc has a c c clinic north of here. C c can't miss it. You should talk to Bitteru, too. He's been to see the doc, too. Oh, y y yeah. My st 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 stuttering was way worse before. The LT told you about it was m my fault see i was knocked out when it happened that big guy sneaked up on us i let b b betsy down she's my g g g goddamn partner see we work in pairs we spot for each other. W -w Watch each. Nobody w -w wanted to work with me. They said I was too green. She trusts her life to the newbie, and I sit here and look. Got it. Shit, you sound like the LT. I should have woken up. I shouldn't have gotten knocked out in the f first place. That shit was my. F yeah. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. Alright. So, Hello? This guy? Howdy. What brings you back? It's a pride thing with her, and totally unnecessary. I mean, look at me. I was Ranger Sterling until the Legion got through with me. I was bitter, but if I kept my mouth shut, the NCR would have discharged me and sent me home. Instead, I asked if there was still a place for me. I had to prove I could still handle a gun alongside all the recruits. Look at me now. First recon and still going strong. You tell Betsy that. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Try not to get killed. My anyway, stats suck. All right. Speak, Sergeant Bitterroot. Talk to the other members for sure. Come back in. Okay, Bitterroot. Where's he at? See you around. There he is. No. No. I'm Bitterroot. There he is. Didn't think you'd be back. What's this about? Ten of spades really ought to keep his mouth shut, but he's right. There are a lot of things in my past I just couldn't leave behind. It helped. A little. Well, more than a little. Betsy ought to pay a visit to Usanagi since it can't hurt none. All right. Goodbye. Yeah? This was none of their business, or yours. You got no right to talk to people behind my back about this. Bitter Root actually said that? I can't see him talking about his problems to anybody, much less admitting that someone else actually helped him. I'm guessing the other two had similar things to say. All right, consider me convinced. I'll go see Usanagi. You can tell the lieutenant that I caved, and thanks.
Thanks for your help with Usanagi and all, but I still like him tall, blonde, and female. Yeah, try not to get killed. Had to, had to try. <laughs> Alright. Tell Lieutenant Gorbitz, uh, he's receiving training. Okay. What can I do for you? Yes, the others in the squad said you'd come to them about her. It's a start. So let's hope she sticks with the treatment as long as it's necessary. I'm afraid she'll ditch Usanagi early if she feels it's taking too long. She won't want to look bad in the eyes of the rest of First Recon. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Carry on. Okay, where do I go? There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios 1. Go on through, soldier. Good point. Do a hard save. Yes. Go into the strip. And I'm here. No violence is permitted on the strip. I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. This is your first time on the strip? Well, it's time to pop your Vegas cherry, friend. I'm sure you'll have a blast and be drunk and capless in no time. I can give you a bit more information about the various casinos if you're not sure on where to get started. Well, there's the Lucky 38, Ultra Lux, Gamora, and the Tops. Which one do you want to know about? The Ultra Lux is the nicest casino on the Strip. Real high-end, extravagant, and expensive. Best you have a lot of caps if you want to go there. Gamora is the favorite of the NCR troops on the Strip. If you like girls, alcohol, gambling, and drugs, then Gamora is just the place for you. The Tops is the cool place to be right now. Lots of entertainment and shows going on there as well as the gambling. If you want to catch a show and have a few drinks, you should definitely hit up the Aces Theater in the Tops. Hmm. I don't know much about it, to tell the truth. That's where Mr. House and his Securitrons are set up, and no one's been in there as long as people can remember. Probably best that you just ignore it. Right on. Ask away. Well, there's Vault 21 and the NCR Embassy. Both places are located on the south side of the Strip. Vault 21 is a small hotel and gift shop. It's not as nice as the casinos, but it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. The NCR Embassy is the headquarters for the NCR on the Strip. The Ambassador and his offices are there as well as the MP headquarters. Sir. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Silk and 
control is a virtue. Mr. House is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette. Right. Yeah, partner. That's his spirit. He'll be waiting for you. Yeah, unfortunately, music plays out in the open. <laughs> Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? <laughs> Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands. And I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there. For good reasons, kid. Listen, we own the... All right, kid. Be good. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a big horn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see, we're the only ones in pain. That's very kind of you. Maybe this'll... Howdy. Good seeing you again. Ah, 
All right. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Where to, partner? Penthouse floor. What's up? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Jay, Who are you? one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Ooh. Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know?
All right, tell me about their families. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky Ultra Lukes. Days, of course. But we're not open to the public. <laughs> You're a special case, sugar. Ultra Lukes. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here. But why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, <laughs> you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we would have maximum this utmost. wonderland of New Vegas, would we? All right. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Didn't realize robots could have strong feelings. Sugar, I may be a robot on the <laughs> outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. <laughs> copy of a dead woman. Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Then maybe you shouldn't <laughs> cry into a lady's particulars. Mm hmm? Anything you like, sugar. Okay. This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Why, I'm a Robco PDQ 88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal and civil robotic <laughs> you silly security goose. on the market. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll nice. I'll it with the rest of the collection. It's good money. <laughs> yeah, nagging robot. Silly goose. Alright. Walk around. Silly goose. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. 
Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that Odo from DS9 doing his voice? concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your Yeah, contract. that's him. How's that? Oh. What did you wish to know? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent... This behavior, I plan to make him my protege. Maybe if I had begun grooming Sorry him sooner, none of this would have happened. Yeah. Battery just went... What uh, yeah. use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless. But I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of the tribal work. I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Hmm. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Friends is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a secure Tron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's on that algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securotron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. What else? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. <laughs> Watch the streamer, Wicked was playing against, have their controller die, while Wicked was chasing her. <laughs> you realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them, dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the ship, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. 
well then. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars, not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Hmm. I don't think I have any way getting my speech up right now. And they don't it's not like Fallout 3 where you can take a risk and it may you may get it, even if you don't have enough. What do you guys think? I guess I need to come back later. Or just What else did you want to know? Hmm. It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. Chairman are your employees, don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second-in-command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary mm. circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. What else did you want to know? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Okay. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. <laughs> you stayed alive all this time. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Have you considered the terms of my offer? There's little else for us to discuss until you have.
You signed a contract in good faith to deliver that ship. You're going to have a hard time on the strip if you are so incautious of making enemies. Plus ten. I don't know. I have enough. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you going to play? DPD. as well. Until then. Okay. the one where you play multiplayer and you're in a house and you have to survive like a horror story. I think I've seen people play that. Survivor versus killer. Ah, uh, I bet you don't know who the killer is at first. sophisticated version of Among Us. Congratulations, partner. <laughs> Boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one who gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait, sweet. Enjoy the date, partner. Play fancy. Cocktail lounge. I know the one of the snow globes is here.
sugar. You do? Why, well, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Where to, partner? Oh, that, that game sounds really cool. Is it, uh, is it cross-platform, or is it, uh, I'd actually be interested in playing that. I gotta look something up about this Fallout, the magazines. Magazines. Skill magazines temporarily raise the corresponding skill with 10 points. 20, excuse me, 20 with the comprehension perk. Wear off after one minute, three minutes with attention. True police stories is the only exception to this general rule. Raising the skill, critical chance with five points, 10 comprehension. Also, magazine, also the magazine vending machines on the strip provide random magazines the first time they are opened. Once that they appeared in the aid section. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like the ones in Fallout 3 where they're permanent. Alright. Upstairs is mine. Well then. Food. Holy crap. There's a book. Major weapons today. I didn't do that. Got here. Another one. Ah! So my sweet is haunted. Okay, sweet. Fabulous. TV in the bathroom. Awesome. Yeah, it's cross-platform. Consoles can't see in-game chat, but can message other console players on their system. But if you ever want content, good 
content, learn Michael Myers. Just scare people with that streamers and reactions. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. No oh, YouTuber is big, big into horror movies that would probably love that game. Where to, partner? All right. Casino. Casino floor. Enjoy your time on the Vegas Strip. Okay. Nick Cage is going to be a survivor or a killer? I have a message for you. <laughs> it's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. What was that movie he was in? Where he was a guy trapped in a, like a Chuck E. Cheese and he's killing the robots? Is that the guy he's playing as a survivor? <laughs> that was the Ridiculous movie. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's stupid funny. Ah, oh, just when it's standing around. All right, let's have a note. I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to the important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that the new California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in benefit. Beneficent mission in the Mojave in general and the New Vegas in particular. Blah, 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 politician. Alright. Killer is a special kill that takes the face off the survivor. I have a feeling we have lots of face off memes. <laughs> in an area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, cry. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when... It... You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from a loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and that wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I did <laughs> After a while, I made enough money to get the passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertised for the local talent performing at the casino. While well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girl. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured that was... Yeah, but what can you do? 
I was stripped of my casino apartment, all of my belongings, and booted. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Hmm. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. <laughs> no, escort just sounds better than man whore. Fair enough. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to... Yeah, yeah. All right. Through here? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. <laughs> Epic Mike's Mike Peak repeatedly. <laughs> Recently playing Grant Gary Lethal Blabs. Okay. We've got stuff we're not Let's see how much it costs. I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred, and the rest of the ducks are free. I joined up looking for a deep paying job. Granted, the pay's all right. But they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies and detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here. I've been around long enough to observe the pattern. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? What do you Good? What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. 
Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up free. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific. Seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. They do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. It warms their heart. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one. But she'd slit your throat if there's a profit in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. So what do you say? Want some? I have my little helpers out and about, always looking for fresh things to add to the stew pot. You may have seen them around somewhere yourself. Now deny your hunger no longer. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. You want to travel to Freeside with ease? You hire a king. We're everywhere, and no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. You must be new. Your tune will change, trust me.
off your trouble. I have no idea how most of these people would survive without it. Welcome to the new Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the cap, I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. I've also got the other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. Some of these lacerations are pretty severe and could get infected. All right, sit still and let me work. You're back. Do you need medical attention? One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what... The Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. Very well. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> 